Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day today. Thanks for tuning into the channel. So we are at Big Valley Antiques, which is uh, in Milroy or Reedsville, Pennsylvania, <laughs> one or the other. Uh, the exit off of uh, Route 322 says that this area is called Milroy, so I usually go by that, but I think the address of the place is technically Reedsville, so it's probably postal stuff or something. Anyway, this is footage actually from the previous video I took of this place because I forgot to film the front of the place. Um, so sometimes you can reuse things. Anyway, uh, this is footage from the actual visit. Uh, this is upstairs, and there's a bunch of... Uh, uh, bins here with uh, cards in them, and they have a bunch of small box sets. Uh, some of these are hand collated sets in plastic cases. I bought a couple things from here in the past, but I didn't find anything this time around. They have an 81 Drake set for $5. I saw that at a previous. Uh, Visit to another antique mall that was selling that for 15 so that is probably a pretty good price for that, if that's something you need in your collection. This bulletin board has a bunch of different cards on it. Uh, different sports are available here. There's football cards. And I apologize for the lighting. There's like a lamp right next to this, and so it's sort of uh, shining off the top or uh, off these... Um, uh, they're not top loaders. I don't know, remember what these are called off the top of my head, but I have plenty of them myself, but I don't know why I'm not remembering them now. There's a Julio Rodriguez card from Heritage. There's Shohei Otani, 2023 tops. There's a Roberto Clemente. And there's a Juan Marshall card down there from 1969. Uh, and here's some uh, different baseball magazines. I should have looked at these a little closer. I just filmed them, but uh, maybe the next time I'm there, I'll check this out a little more closer. Uh, just around the corner on this same floor, I found this... Uh, signed Mike Trout poster and the price tag on that says $125 firm so if you're looking for a signed Mike Trout poster uh, this one is framed there you go now downstairs and this is the reason why I was filming this place this seller um, has like these uh, gold rush autograph photos and has a list of them i guess they're below that page but he has expanded his booth into an additional booth and it's about three booths wide so it's like an entire card store as you can see there's lots of football product in this case unopened modern stuff and as you, you can sort of see a glimpse of how big this is from there. I should have probably zoomed out to show the whole thing. Uh, this old-fashioned case here has lots of football cards in it. Uh, some are graded. And uh, the, uh, the top window part of this is sort of scratched up, so you can't get a real clear view from above. And I'm also dealing with the fluorescent lighting above. Uh, I do have a um, filter for my camera, but I have yet to play around with that. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. Uh, lots of stuff going on. It's hard to find the time to do everything, so I'm squeezing in things here and there, and that's one thing I still need to work on. Uh, these football is definitely not something I collect, so I don't know if the prices in here are that good. I'm not even sure if you can see the prices real well based on all the light reflecting off of it. It'll give you an idea of what's available here. Lots of graded cards on this shelf. Um, PSA and SGC, I see both, both of their slabs here.
And I'm going to scan through this one a little more quickly than I do with the baseball cards um, because this isn't something that I focus on. But I do film it just in case because many people that collect baseball cards also collect cards from other sports. I'm well aware of that. So I try to uh, showcase everything that I see here. Uh, but the focus of this channel is baseball cards only. And over here we have uh, a bin with some cards in it. Some signed uh, helmets. I think these are Penn State related. That one's $80. That one looks like it's 120 something. Signed uh, Penn State footballs. That one's 125. And there's a much larger one up there. I can't quite make out the price of that one. And I missed that one. <laughs> some magazines. Uh, there's some more football product on this shelf here. Uh, I had to cut this video here a little short because there were people. Th this place was busy at the time I was filming it. There's an autographed basketball. Looks like that. I can't quite make that out. 295 it looks like for that. 250 for this one. Looks like Julius Irving. Some more football helmets. And some more football product. Uh, so here are some more football cards in another case. Uh, we are still in the same booth. Again, the surface of this case has all scratched up, so it's a little difficult to see things very clearly. And we're also dealing with the light above. And you can see the reflection of that in the lower part of your screen. Lots of graded stuff in here. There's some stuff on the shelf below. Lots of parallels. Autograph cards. And there's some packs for $10. I guess that one on the left was. And some cards in this bin. We're going to go around and uh, there's some... Autograph photos on the wall there, mostly football here. There are some baseball ones down on the right side. I will zoom in on them at some point. Uh, here's another bin full of cards. And this case has basketball cards in it. There's some graded cards as well. Uh, generally, these are higher priced items most of the uh things that are like five dollars or less are usually in those uh three uh, three or five thousand count boxes i think that's a three thousand count box baseball cards there uh, here are some baseballs here there's a ryan sandberg for 99 mike piazza for 100 nolan ryan for 120 Uh, Troy Tulowitzki, that's price marked down to 50. There's a Yaz sign ball in there, 115. These look like they're certified. Can't make out the writing on that one. Here's uh, some baseball cards in this one. There's a Puckett rookie. A Ripken rookie graded at 8 for 50. Some old Nelly Fox cards. There's a 68 Roger Maris graded four. I think that was 45. Sandberg rookie for 45. PSA eight on that one. 
There's some more vintage cards, a bunch of Roger Maris cards. Don Drysdale. Tony Oliva rookie. And here's some 87 Tops Rack Packs. Those are $250 each, which I think is an okay deal. Now we're going to go over to these autographed uh, photos. There's one of Dave Winfield priced at, I think that says $55. Uh, one for Phil Rizzuto. I'm flipping over the price tag there. Looks like that's $75. Uh, there's one of Joe DiMaggio. Here's Whitey Ford. That one's priced at $79. Uh, Willie Mays. Looks like 20% uh, off. I don't know where the price tag is on that. Did I find it? Yeah, there it is. $195 for that one. There's a Duke Snyder. That one's priced at 65. Another Joe DiMaggio one. Uh, that one is priced at 295, I believe. A Cal Ripken one. Can't quite make up the price on that one. It's kind of high up in the air. Sorry about that. There's another Joe DiMaggio. Can't quite make out the price. So that looks like 40, no, 99. <laughs> I should have wrote these down while I was in the store. Uh, that one is priced at 250. That's Yogi Berra. There's one of Hank Aaron. And that one is priced, at, it looks like. 244 something like that another one of hank aaron that one's priced at 199.99 see what i'm doing here is i'm doing a voiceover because in the store they're playing music and uh, i don't like talking out loud by myself while filming so i just film it and do a voiceover later so i'm viewing this on my laptop and it's Sometimes I can't make out the prices, but when you see that on YouTube, you'll probably see something a little more clearer than what I'm looking at when I do this. So that's why I might say something like, I can't quite make out that price. Uh, so sorry about that. It is a technical issue that I probably need to work on down the road. I am an amateur at this, believe it or not. And there's some football cards. There were some basketball ones in the other case that, uh, while I was talking about voiceovers. <laughs> uh, maybe someday I ought to do a video um, about how I make these videos. Uh, I, I don't know if there are people out there interested in starting their own channels. I thought about uh, putting something together like that. There's some Bryce Harper cards. Quite a few of them, actually. It's like almost a whole row of them there. I'll have to look at those a little closer the next time I'm there. See if those prices are pretty good or not. And we got some new product. 2023 Stadium Club. That looks like 27 for that. These are all priced a little higher than what you can get on eBay. Uh, but you have to consider this seller. I'm not sure how this seller acquires them, but they have to make a profit off of these. And they're also paying rent uh, at this antique mall. And he's renting uh, three booths worth of space. So I imagine uh, that's a bit pricey. And it's on the first floor and the first floor rent is higher than on the second floor, I believe. There's some football cards in that bin and there's some baseball cards in this case. We've got a bunch of uh, different relics here on this shelf. These are graded cards here. Mostly modern on in this case. It's hard to see the cards in the back. There's a lot of shadowing 
um, based on the lighting at this place. There's some vintage stuff in the back. I can't quite make out too well from my vantage point here, but there's some more relics. I see a Harold Baines rookie card back there. Didn't get the price on that. Pokemon cards. This is all still the same seller. And a bunch, a shelf full of supplies. Penny sleeves and uh, top loaders. And they have a bunch of unopened packs. There's some football cards there. And the shelf below will have some baseball cards. So if you want to buy by the pack, um, you can buy things here in many different formats. Uh, this case actually has some hobby boxes in it, plus some packs. And some very, very old cards on this shelf. I think most of them here are graded. And we have some packs available in this uh, shelf here, along with some baseball cards, singles and stuff, including some 2024. Those are five bucks a pack. There's some older upper deck packs there. And down on this bottom shelf are a bunch of hobby boxes and maybe some mega boxes and stuff behind them. So we're done with that uh, seller. There is another seller that basically has like a mini card store. Uh, this one is in a room that's off to the side on the first floor. If you go past the cash register, make a right turn. Uh, this room, this one is sort of in the center of the room and they have a bunch of packs here for five bucks each. Uh, some jumbo ones there for 10 and the big league baseball are four. And there's that seller Randolph. And there's uh, some football cards here. Uh, looks like mostly relics, parallels and such. Some autos here on the end. And there's, I think there's uh, some vintage ones. Uh, one on the right was. And I believe this case contains baseball cards. There's a bunch of relics in here. I should try looking at this case in a little more detail on my next visit. I don't pay too much attention to the cases because I'm always attracted to these dollar, three dollar bins for, for some reason. And there's some hobby boxes down below. And this shelf has some mega boxes and things. I think that's a pretty fair price for those 2021 Topps Chrome Platinum. Maybe the next time I'm there, I might pick up some of those. A uh, bin full of junk wax packs. Looked like they were going for about two bucks each or so. There's some football product here on this shelf. It's like 2023 Topps Chrome Update. Those are 40. Here's some basketball and some of those 2020 baseball tins. And there's a 2023 super box for 45. Some more football cards. There's not a lot in this case. Uh, there's some hobby boxes down below. There's some uh, graded modern baseball. And we got some hobby boxes of uh, 
2023 tops looks like about a hundred dollars or so for those 2022 and 2021 yeah we're going to go over to this side there's a couple bins of cards down below there's some junk wax packs here the 1990s two bucks some for three some upper deck packs a uh, few various sports related things there bunch of top loaders most of these are 375 uh, this is usually where i pick up a lot of my oddball sized top loaders the ones that are wider for thicker cards i generally buy my regular size online at about 85 dollars for a box of a thousand usually can't find prices too much better than that there's some hanging uh, packs here. These look like they're five and ten dollars, depending on which product it is. That one's from 2016 opening day. You don't see very many of those anymore. There's some basketball packs. We got some hanger boxes down below. And we'll go around here to this side. And we have football again. And what we have left is that front um, shelving unit. And there is a couple bins of like $3 priced cards and $5 autos and relics and things like that. And I'll pick up quite a few things from these bins here uh, I'll go over everything I bought here at the end of the video uh, there's some uh, blaster boxes I think these are sale prices crossed off prices and lowered them uh, I did pick up two things from here that I thought were a pretty good deal at least I think they were I'm sure somewhere you might get them cheaper than this uh, but I did find a lot in here And there's some non-sports stuff like Pokemon on that uh, shelving unit. And I'll just zoom out here so you can see this entire unit. Okay, this is my wife's booth. Uh, we She has a booth here and uh, she sells a lot of different glass collectibles. Um, she sells most of her vases at uh, Roller Mills in uh, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, but she sells mostly all the other stuff at this one. Uh, so if you have a friend, relative, family member, um, neighbor that's interested in collecting this, these things, um, please do share this video with them. My wife would definitely appreciate that. And right after I showcase her uh, booth, uh, we'll go over all the uh, baseball cards I bought here. And she has a lot of Boyd's Bears for sale. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed that tour of Big Valley Antiques in Milroy or Reedsville, Pennsylvania, depending on where you think it is. <laughs> anyway, I did buy a big stack right here of stuff, um, mostly from the uh, dollar, three dollar, five dollar bins uh, from both the two major sellers there. I didn't get anything from upstairs this time. Although from time to time I do find some interesting things up there as well. Uh, so let's go over what we got. Uh, first things first, we got a 2021 Bowman Chrome Prospects Josh Young for 50 cents. I thought that was probably a pretty good deal for him. He looks like a big prospect. Uh, Luis Robert, this is on uh, 2021 Panini Mosaic in the V Tool insert set. And that one was 50 cents. But what caught my eye, and I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can get it to zoom in. But there looks like a piece of another card 
down here on this border. And so this is technically a miscut. So it, I don't run into very many modern miscuts. It seems like they are getting better at be, better and better at cutting these over the years since uh, the junk wax era. Uh, so when I see something like that, I pick it up. Uh, we got Henry Davis. This is a 2022 Bowman Chrome Prospects uh, Mojo Refractor. Got that for a dollar. Uh, Nick Castellanos, 2023 Tops uh, Chrome. This is the magenta parallel, not the pink one as it's noted on here. This is the magenta one. And this is numbered uh, somewhere on here on the front. 32 out of 399. Got that one for three bucks. I uh, got a Juan Soto from 2024 Tops from the Superstar Blueprint insert set. Got that for a dollar. I'm not too sure if I'm going to buy too much more 2024 Tops. So when I see some of the insert cards out there in the wild for what I think is, I guess, a reasonable price, I will probably pick some of them up. Uh, this is also from 2024. This is from the Silver Pack um, Chrome cards. Uh, this is Trey Turner for three bucks. These look pretty cool. I always like the silver pack ones. And this one is Julio Rodriguez for three dollars, which I think is probably a pretty good deal for that. His cards are going for uh, quite a bit more these days. Uh, we got a Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Um, rookie debut card. Uh, this is from 2019 Tops Update for $3. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that. Uh, this is from the second seller, the seller that is in the um, that last, uh, not my wife's booth, but the one before that. And that's where the rest of these cards came from. Uh, Key Brian Hayes, rated rookie from Donruss Optic um, from 2021. That was $3. We got a Henry Davis, rated prospect uh, from Donruss. And I think this is the Vector Parallel. Got that for $3. That's not numbered. A Dansby Swanson rookie card from Bowman. This was one I pretty sure i don't have i got that for three dollars we got a fernando tatis jr rookie card from uh 2019 heritage yeah 2019 that was three dollars i'm just checking my notes make sure i got some of this sam that i'm saying these things correctly uh this is from 2018 Donruss Optic. This is a rated prospect card of Fernando Tatis. Got that for $3. His cards have really dropped since uh, he had that suspension last year and was injured most of the season. And his season, let's see, that was in 2022. His 2023 season was kind of subpar compared to what he did back in 2021. Uh, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie card from Panini Rookies and Stars. That one got for that one for three bucks. Here's another Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. This is a Bowman Platinum base set variation. I got that for three bucks. Thought that was probably a pretty good deal for that. Um, 2020 finest rookie card of Jordan Alvarez for three dollars. That was one I didn't have. Uh, Rafael Devers rookie card from um panini classics from 2018 that was three bucks a uh, corbin carroll um i guess rookie card insert uh tops and technicolor from 2023 tops chrome uh that one was three bucks a uh, marcus Semyon rookie card from uh what year was this one from 2014 got that for three bucks he has been having some really great seasons the last few years so i thought i'd pick up that uh, I don't have the Corbin Carroll rookie card from Topps Allen and Ginter 2023, so I thought I'd pick that up for three dollars. I, I think you can get that cheaper on eBay than three bucks, but since I was there and it was there, I was like, well, why not? Uh, I probably should try to seek out his um, the mini one and the hot box version of that while I can, because the prices on those are are still affordable at this time. Uh, 2023 Bowman Sterling Corbin Carroll rookie card that was three dollars. Uh, we got an Adley Rushman rookie card from the Topps International Trading Card Day. That was three bucks. Uh, another Jordan Alvarez rookie card, but this is from the museum collection. 
I got that one for three dollars. That's something you don't see out in the wild very much is cards from some of the um, higher end sets. Uh, this is um, 2018. Uh, I think this is Panini. Yeah, Panini Studio. That's three dollars for Raphael Devers rookie card. I uh, got an on-card auto of Aubrey Huff from this. This is from. Uh, 2005 Topps Gallery, and I think it, the set is called Penmanship right here. Got that one for five bucks. We got a Luis Robert rookie card from Panini Spectra, or I think that's Chronicle Spectra. This is also a relic card, and I got that one for five bucks. I think Panini called those swatches. Andrew Jones, uh, dual relic. Um, Jersey Prime and Jersey. I, I looked this one up. This one was confusing. This is from Donruss, and I think it was called um, Prime Patches was the name of the set. And uh, I think it's just called a Double Swatch Prime or something because this one says Prime. And that one was $5. It's also numbered 53 out of 75. So I thought I'd pick that up. Andrew Jones is likely to be a future Hall of Famer. Uh, got another one, another relic card for him. This is from Playoff Piece of the Game from 2003. And this one I got for $4, and it's numbered 65 out of 100. Uh, Reese Hoskin relic. Um, this is from Tops Tier 1. Uh, this one is numbered 371 out of 399. Got that one for $4. And the last card is uh, from Topps Triple Threads from 2022. This is a single jumbo relic amber parallel of Anthony Rendon for f numbered 14 out of 48. Uh, I got that one for $4. So that is what I got at Big Valley Antiques. Uh, no vintage this time. Um, there just wasn't anything that caught my eye in the vintage sections. Um, but I will have to really seriously start considering looking at the inside those cases but i just can't help myself when i see a a dollar bin that's real usually where i gravitate to because there's usually some deals to be had in those dollar bins uh not real expensive cards but still decent stuff and since i was kind of in a rush because because you know we have to take the dog to pee and he's out in the van so uh I'm I'm usually doing this this pretty quickly. Uh, while I was there, I, I forgot to mention I also picked up a blaster box of 2021 uh, Panini Absolute. This was twenty dollars. Not sure what these went for when they were first uh, sold, but I think that's probably a a decent price for it. I didn't check eBay comps on these, uh, but when I see blaster boxes for twenty or less. Uh, I usually look through them and see if there's something that I haven't opened. And this is one I haven't opened yet. So we will probably open that one up in a separate video. And I also picked up uh, uh, Top Series 2 from 2022. Um, probably going to see if we can find the... Uh, I'm not sure if they were in the blaster boxes, but for $20 I thought I'd try it out. But I think the Torkelson... Wit and Rodriguez short prints we're looking for. I'm not sure if they were in the blaster boxes though. So uh, I have I have actually have two more blaster boxes of this that I have not opened. Um, so maybe I'll combine this with those and we'll open all three of them in a separate video. Um, we'll be looking for royal blue base card parallels. Um, but I'll have to do some research before I open these up and see if those short prints are available in blaster boxes they may have been only available in certain other products maybe so well if they're not oh well but we're gonna have to open them up anyway i can't leave these sitting around on the shelf forever so that's what i got at uh big valley antiques in milroy or reedsville pennsylvania depending on your point of view uh, i tend to call that place Milroy because it's not far from the town of Milroy it seems like it's further away from Reedsville but it's possible that the postal borders place this thing in the Reedsville post office area maybe that's why Reedsville is listed as their address the exit off of route 322 says Milroy and there's a separate exit for Reedsville which is uh, further south of, of the uh, Milroy exit so I don't know 
whatever. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I know this was a much longer one because there was much to look at. Um, those two booths are basically like mini card stores. Um, so there was lots to film there. Uh, I only film this about every three or four months or so because I go to this place about once every one or two months because my wife has to replenish her uh, booth with new product. Um, so uh, I do go to this place often and I usually leave with something. And if I, if I don't actually find any cards, which I don't think I've ever done, I will probably leave with some supplies because that one seller has 3,000 count boxes for $4 and the other one is selling a lot of the uh, wider... Uh, top loaders for thicker cards, uh, which I at the moment didn't have any. So I, I think I bought 12 boxes of those. So it was a, quite a pricey trip this time, but it was worth it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody. Beep, beep.